Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Greg. And we have an exciting video today. I'm in Liverpool for like 24 hours. Got a last minute call up to go to the Liverpool Man City game, which is class. I've always wanted to go to Anfield. Like to see you never walk alone being sang in Anfield is just a bucket list sporting thing to see. It's like seeing the Hakka or seeing like a 180 being thrown in darts. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it, but we, uh, we're up at five, got the half six flight um, straight to Liverpool, arrived in Liverpool at 8 a.m. and the match isn't until half four. Um, so we booked a couple of things to do. I'm here in Albert Dock and Liverpool is absolutely gorgeous. He's going to see the Beatles at 9 a.m. on a Sunday in Liverpool. <laughs> so we only have 24 hours here, we might as well enjoy ourselves. And then um, we're going to just explore the city. Thanks very much to anyone who's given me a recommendation on Instagram. Loads of food spots booked. Um, so we're gonna go for like a brunch, bottomless brunch. And hopefully we'll get to see the buses coming in through the town and all the Liverpool fans link up with them and just really make a day of it. So I'm really looking forward to it. The smell of beautiful pastries coming out of this place is incredible. We were recommended by two kind of workmen over there that said, Rough is opening in two minutes, get over here. So um, we're one of the first customers. Let's go in and have a look. Don't mind if I do. Look how incredible these pastries look, they're just freshly made. And the best part, look, there's a dog. Hello little guy. <laughs> I always feel so awkward if people don't want you going over talking to their dogs. I love dogs so much. It's the size of my head, but <laughs> what do you think? We're here at the Beatles story in Liverpool. Absolutely iconic band. You can hear the music in the back. Really looking forward to this. So Shane had one job was to book an activity and he doesn't have the tickets. Now right Burke, you're used to this little thing. Standing here outside the Beatles uh, museum entry and I uh, can't get in. Let us in mate. Are we in? Yes, we're in! Come on! I'm not the biggest fan of these headsets because you can't really socialize with other people and do you know what, I like chatting and kind of talking about what you're seeing but look, it suits some people. Yeah, Just finished the tour there. Do you know what? It was good. There's a lot of work gone into it. So if you're a Beatles fan, I definitely get to this place. It's really cool. And now we're in the gift shop. Shall I pick up something? I might have to get these. These are class. <laughs> All right, that was good fun and a good way to spend the morning. Killed at least two hours there. And the Beatles tour is like one of the best things here to do in Liverpool. Along with going to Anfield, which I'm going to later. Knocking off all the best things to do here in Liverpool. Oh yeah. I gotta go. Thank you. Thanks a million. Cheers. See you girls. <laughs> Some Love Island fans there. Two years on. Um, so lovely those girls. That's hilarious. So it started raining and we got into the first place we could. And of course we went into an Irish bar. Look at the wall, all the legends. Tin Lizzie, Katie Taylor, Patrick Harrington, Paul O'Connell. Where's Greg O'Shea? Have you seen Greg O'Shea on the wall? No. Greg O'Shea. Is that me up there? That's me, I think. <laughs> of course the Irish lads go go away and go straight to an Irish pub. Look, you might as well get a point of Guinness while we're here. All right, well that worked out perfectly. We just had a quick point of Guinness and came back outside and it's not raining anymore. Just on Ball Street here now, behind me, just walked up. It's class, loads of independent uh, restaurants and stores. So definitely check it out, really some cool spots here. So our next stop on tour of Liverpool is a place called The Brunch Club. You can see it, there's the brunch club, so it's a bit of a boozy brunch, but really good uh, quality food as well. Um, but so far, absolutely loving Liverpool. It's literally only 12 o'clock, uh, and the game's on until half four. Um, 
man. So so far so good. Ah no, don't worry, yeah. They were not not in that way. I think it's there. Now we're at Anfield, we've made it. It's here behind me. Yeah, baby. <laughs> and we're gonna go see the Trent Alexander Arnold, uh, how do you say, memorial? Or mural? Mural on the wall. And then hopefully we'll see the team bus coming through. And the excitement is really building now. We can't wait to get inside the stadium. So I'm just at the road here beside the stadium, and look how cool this is. Trent Alexander Arnold, that is so cool. It's unbelievable that he's a local boy. The stadium's one street over, and we're waiting now for the bus to come along. The Man City bus should be coming, there'll be absolute carnage, and then the Liverpool bus as well. And uh, just really cool, can't wait for them to come now. Thank you. Appreciate it. So we're sitting down for like a three course meal here in the Legends Lounge before going to the game. Goodie bags and everything. Um, there's Pep. Oh, look at that, the two boys, that's cute. So we ended up getting beef and Yorkshire puddings for lunch. Very English, very nice though. It's so there. And the lunch is just finishing up now and kickoff is literally in, I don't know if you can see behind me there, that screen says kickoff is in six minutes. Uh, so we better get outside now and get into our seats. The atmosphere is building. <laughs> Second half. Berkey, did you enjoy yourself? Yeah, unbelievable. Incredible experience. I love it so much. I need to come to more Premier League games. Absolutely some crack. The crowd was immense. Just chanting, atmosphere, energy. There's Pep Guardiola, the GOAT. Go on, Pep. We love you. And there's Jurgen, the Cuds. Yeah, baby. What an experience. So we finally got back to Ireland after the Liverpool game. Oh my God, did we go arseways about getting home. So we flew from Leeds Airport at 6 a.m. Bearing in mind that the Liverpool v Man City game finished in Anfield at 6 p.m. So it took us ages to get out of Anfield, to get an Uber. Honestly, it was impossible. They, the thing with Uber, like, the driver can cancel it any time he wants. I got three... On three separate occasions, I got Uber drivers, right? And it was like 10 minutes away. I was like, grand, I'll wait in the spot. It would get down to like two minutes and the driver would cancel. I was like, it's such BS. Like, it's, how can they just tease you like that? That, oh, we're coming and coming and then just cancel on you. And then actually one guy, I saw him. I recognized his license plate. I was like, man, you just canceled my Uber. And he was like, ooh, and just drove on. So frustrating because if you cancel on an Uber driver, you can get charged like a small fee, which I did. I canceled on one later in the evening and I got charged like six pounds, which was fair enough because I canceled and he was on the way. So it's weird that it doesn't work both ways. Anyway, that's my rant over about Uber. Bear in mind now we started at 5 a.m. in Dublin, traveled all the way to Liverpool, went to the match and then traveling back home via Manchester into Leeds. Um, so eventually got the later train out of Manchester to Leeds. And then we got to this hotel like, they said it was airport hotel. It was nowhere near the airport. I was traveling for longer than I was actually in the UK. And I'm absolutely wrecked now, so that's why I uh, didn't finish off vlogging last night. And I'm only telling you about this now. But do you know what? It was worth it. Like, to see Anfield and experience it packed out, full stadium. Um, to hear you never walk alone being sang. To see loads of goals. 
But now I'm going to shoot a little YouTube video with World Rugby. That's why my jersey is behind me. And also my Love Island bottle. Um, and this little Kobe bottle from Love Island. You remember the baby uh, challenge, which is by far my favorite challenge. Um, so I'm doing a little thing with World Rugby about my career. So obviously my career involves the whole Love Island thing, all my jerseys and stuff like that. So I'm going to do that now. So it's actually a YouTube series that World Rugby are doing on their YouTube channel. And I think they're near a million subscribers. So head over to the World Rugby YouTube channel, subscribe to them, you could be the millionth one. And it's a series called Jersey Tales. So they've done really cool uh, famous rugby players like Lawrence Delalio, Brian Abana, and other people like that. So it's mad that I got asked to do it and I'm getting to talk through my whole career on the same series as these really incredible rugby players. Um, so I'm honoured to, to get to do that now. So today I'm going to meet one of the winners of the giveaway I did on my Instagram of all my Olympic gear. And luckily he actually doesn't live too far from me. He lives about 30 minutes. So I'm actually going to deliver it myself instead of posting it. I've just arrived here at the first winner's house. I like giving presents more than I love receiving presents. So I'm really excited about this giveaway because I'm giving away stuff that's really special to me, like my Olympic gear, like this everything I worked for in my life was get to the Olympics and to have the gear, it's so special and I'm giving it away uh, just to someone that will use it because I know I won't use all of it and I'll only be keeping it in a press and it'll just be gathering dust and not be being used. So I'm really happy I can give it to someone now. Um, so let's go in, I'm really excited about this. Hey, what's up? How are you? You're giving out to me. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? What's going on? How are you? How are you doing? Hey, what's up? Just here at the door. Lorcan's inside here, and this is the lovely mother. Hi. 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 What did you like it, bud? It's absolutely amazing. I can't yeah. believe you're giving it away. I know. Of course, I like the way you're pumpkins already. Right. Yeah. All right, here, Callum Ralph, come here. Hey, now, this is Callum. He's going, he's going to play rugby What's for Cassie. Callum, do you like rugby? Callum. Yeah, I love Ralph. Are you behaving? What's your name? No, no, no. Ralph behaving. Ralph. 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 Yeah. yeah. They're Ralph. very true. Like, right, come on. Hello. Up the notes. <laughs> oh my god. That was so, so much fun. I met the entire family. Good morning. I'm sorry that last bit cut out, my camera ran out of battery, but it was actually so lovely meeting the winner of my giveaway. His family were absolutely gorgeous, like such good energy off them. So I'm back here at Santry's Force Clinic this morning to get surgery again on my nose. Uh, I'm not going to be looking great for the next 10 days, I'm going to have a big plaster cast on my face. I had to get a taxi in myself at like 7am, which is one of the saddest things I've done in a while. But I better get inside now because I'll be called in for surgery at any minute. Let's hope it goes well. What's up? I'm just out of surgery, about 30 minutes now, um, so I'm sitting here recovering. I don't feel great, but I'm delighted that surgery's done now. So my good friend Brian Ballin has come to collect me. Say hi, Brian. What's up? <laughs> yeah, you should all follow him because he's the nicest friend I have. They came to collect me from the hospital. And um, look, it's a little bit rainy, but I'm happy now to be out of the hospital to have this done. Be with my good friend Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I hope now to recover. So I'm just home from the hospital and I feel like crap, probably like 4 out of 10 but obviously I just had a general anaesthetic and anyone that's had surgery before they know that you feel quite crap for the first couple of hours after getting a general anaesthetic but um, I'm gonna go for a little kip now um, so yeah it's not ideal that I have to be like this for like the next week Morning. so I'm back here in my family house in Limerick so I'm back in Limerick because I have two events to attend. So yesterday I got presented with Limerick Person of the Month Award along with other Olympians, which is so cool. It's my second time getting Limerick Person of the Month. I got it when I came out of Love Island, uh, which is a nice one to get. Obviously not ideal that these are going to be the photos that everyone sees in the paper and everything like that. But you know what? You can't take yourself too seriously. You just got to have fun with it. And today I have another kind of event where I'm going to my local club, Shannon RFC, and and they want me to present the jersey to the club. It'll be a really nice kind of family event. It'll be nice to have my jersey up on the wall in the clubhouse that I can look on for years to come. So I'll bring you along with me and uh, we'll see how it goes. But I'm very honored to give my jersey to the club. I, I could talk about Shannon till the cows come home, but uh, it's just very nice to have my family here. Everything from my nephew, Tommy, first time in Shannon today, wearing a Shannon jersey. All the way up to the boss, uh, Bill O'Shea and everyone in between, so... Oh, 
That was such a lovely day spent with family. Oh my God. Everyone from Tommy, my little one-year-old nephew, all the way up into my granddad, 90 years old, everyone in the local club, getting to present my Olympic jersey as well. It's just so cool to be acknowledged by them. And they gave me honorary membership, which is really, really cool. Um, so I love the day. And we're actually gonna get some food now, I think. So I think it's a good time to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it, loads of different things happening in it. So if you did enjoy it, please press the like button. Also let me know in the comments what you thought and any other content you wanna see from me, I'd be happy to hear it. And also make sure you're subscribed please because there's plenty more content on the way and I'm really loving getting some stuff out to you guys. So make sure you press the subscribe button and I'll catch you next time. Thank you so much for watching again.